In today's world, there are literally thousands of career options to choose from. In some careers, you work closely with others. In other careers, you work independently. Some are more exciting and adventurous, while others are more routine and calculated. Some require ongoing learning experience, while others are more hands-on and interactive. No matter the career choice, the key to satisfaction and success is how well the career matches the personality of the person doing the work. We are all different, and finding a career path that matches our own individual interests and abilities is the key to a successful and satisfying career. This video series was created to help us identify some of the choices we will need to make to help us get started on this journey. Together, we will walk through the essentials of career planning. We will learn how to make a great first impression. We will learn how to ask good questions and explore additional resources to help us along the way. We will hear from people already in their careers as they help us navigate some of the decisions we will be making ourselves. As high school students, the thought of deciding on a career can be intimidating. This video series is designed to help us start. Throughout this video series, we will learn the skills we need to be better prepared for JA Inspire. It's an exciting time for all of us. The more we understand about ourselves and the better prepared we are, the more successful JA Inspire can be for each of us. So come on along. Together, we can start to explore the world we will soon be a part of. Together, we can learn and grow. Together, we can start this journey to the rest of our lives. The, the future, future starts, starts now. now. Career planning takes your interests, abilities, and skills and matches them to potential opportunities to earn a living. A career is just that, finding out what you like to do and then finding someone who will pay you to do it. I think career planning is important because you've got to prepare for what you're going to do. Frankly, if you don't like what you do, you're not gonna be good at it, and you're not gonna care enough, and it's gonna be a burden on, your, on you rather than a joy. First off, I think it's important to have a goal in anything you do. So particularly when it comes to where you're gonna spend a significant portion of your life I think it's really important that you have something to aspire to. If you want to achieve a goal, whether that be on the varsity basketball team or football, or you want to be an author someday, you've got to start now. If you think about a career, it's typically something that you're going to do for the rest of your life. The thought of doing that uh, without a plan, <laughs> I just can't even imagine it. Career planning can be one of the most important things we do. One day, we are all going to step into the real world, and the sooner we start to narrow down the choices, the more successful we will be. It's, it's never too early to start. Students have innate talents and abilities and skills that they start learning about when they're, quite honestly, still in elementary school. I, honest to goodness, started my career planning before I was five years old. I knew what I wanted to do, and I worked for it all the way through school. Now, I'm not doing exactly today what I thought I was going to be doing when I was five, but life evolves. And what I started thinking about when I was five has me where I am today. Uh, but the opportunity just to have exposure and just to start the practice of going through the thought process is critical to weeding out the things that you don't want to do. Uh, and starting to focus in on the things that, you know, might be a strong consideration for your future. It's never too soon to start, and it's never too late to start. The most important thing is that we start. Starting now is important for many reasons. As I, as I have progressed in my career, I think back to a, if only I had taken this course in school, or if only I had done this extracurricular activity in school. I wish I had done those things, because I think it would have prepared me. I know it would have prepared me better for the experiences I had later. But it's really about learning things that are important, learning things that matter. The biggest advantage is that you can start to hone in uh, on a particular skill set. Then it helps you to start to think ahead as to what do I need to do now to start to prepare myself for that. Identify what you want to do and what you're good at and align those two things together so that learning becomes all about what you love. I start to meet people who are in the industry. I think that's been probably one of the things that has really helped me is to identify other folks that are in our industry 
uh, that can help me and guide me and not just show me what to do, but more importantly, tell me what not to do. Our hope is that some of what we've learned today inspires you to start thinking about your career. Over the next few sessions, we will be looking at how to career plan, learning what kinds of questions we should be asking ourselves, we will learn how to make a good first impression and discover what to expect at JA Inspire. Our hope is that this series helps prepare you for your future. Our hope is that this helps get you excited to start discovering for yourself how a career choice can be both satisfying and fulfilling.